So I'm going to now drop the resolution of my image to a dot size or a resolution size in which I can create a dot that's easy to maintain on, on screen and print. Now, if you haven't watched my advanced Photoshop class, I talk about this in depth. I'm going to drop this down to 200. The pixel size at 200 DPI plays well with the 230 mesh that I'm going to use. Um, in that uh, class, I go on to show uh, the interference patterns that you can have with 230 and 305 mesh, depending on the resolution that you have. So we're gonna go 200. We have 10 inches high by almost 18 inches wide. I'm gonna click OK. Now my image is resized. There we are. And what we need to do now is we need to duplicate the channels that we have here. Now I've done that. This is my black copy. That's the yellow copy and that's the magenta copy. Right now they are all alpha channels. They are not spot colors. I need to duplicate each of my channels or my alpha channels into a new file and then bitmap them. I can't bitmap them here. So I'm going to duplicate this into a new file. I'm going to click OK. So this is our magenta copy. We're going to go up here under image mode and we're going to click bitmap. Now in here you have a few options. We have 50% threshold, pattern dither, blah, 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 half tone screen. You've probably seen half tone screen. It's an easy way to get half tone dots. But we're going to choose diffusion dither. We're going to click OK. And when it's in a bitmap mode, as you can see here, it looks weird. So now we're going to convert this image mode grayscale. Size ratio one to one, yes. And now it looks much more normal.